The first event for Halo Infinite was the most watched event ever in Halo's history. Why it's so important and why so many of the most popular content creators got it wrong. Want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. Today we're talking about something very special and that was the HCS event that happened last weekend. Now I know not everyone is into competitive Halo but these events do a great job of kind of judging the scene of how much interest there is with this game because ideally the most uh, people you would ever see watching Halo at one point would be during one of these tournaments and well Records were smashed, making this comment look a little dated. No, you need a battle royale. That's what you need. In order for this game to go longer than three weeks after launch, from a spectating standpoint, it needs a BR. And well, from a spectating standpoint, Tashi, the head of HGS, said that the Raleigh event this weekend was the most viewed Halo esports event of all time, and it's only Friday. And yes, it got even bigger peaking at just over 267,000 viewers on Twitch alone, saying that the final event of Cloud9 vs E United is the most popular match event of all time for Halo. So from a spectating standpoint, I think it did all right. Now it wasn't just Dr. Disrespect that had a lot of comments about a battle royale being in Halo and being necessary for the game. Like we had Courage, we had a bunch of other big name content creators say that like, we love Halo, we just want a battle royale for our audience. And that's key. For their audience because battle royale is still the most popular game mode out there and they spent years building up this audience to be interested in battle royale type first person shooter games started with the h1z1 then it moved over to pubg and then it moved over to fortnite and then it moved over to warzone and a little bit of apex legends as well so from their point of view they would love to have a halo battle royale so they can play halo which is probably the best version of a battle royale that could possibly come out my opinion and still have a very good viewership because honestly probably for them a standard like btb or 4v4 like arena match probably wouldn't do as well viewership wise compared to watching like a battle royale of like warzone but the thing is that halo's kind of on the up for the last few years or even decade if you want to go that far that halo's been kind of like on the underground of like popular shooters at the time I mean, yeah, the name has always held a good amount of weight, but when it comes to people being interested in actually playing the games consistently, it's been on the downslope until the release of Halo Infinite back in November and this HCS event that we had last weekend. Which guys, if you don't watch competitive Halo, I totally understand it's not your thing, but you can actually learn a lot from watching these guys play. I've gotten so much better at Halo from just watching these live streams from them pulling off crazy maneuvers, doing some unique things I never thought of before, pulling off some crazy jumps and shots and things like that, utilizing some interesting strategies that I never think about before. You learn a lot from watching these guys play. So seeing Halo Infinite just being a good Halo game, drawing in a huge audience makes a huge difference when it comes to the game moving forward and say the necessity of a battle royale, which personally I would really like, but seeing that it's not necessary for the game to succeed. Now this is the first event just after the game's release and so it's going to be a little bit bloated I would assume for viewership. I'm assuming like the next event like Anaheim which we'll talk about in a minute here is going to be a little bit lower because well the event itself is more of a minor event not a major like we had last weekend and generally with just the way humans are that the population and popularity of things dies off as it's less new. But things are looking to expand and get more popular with HCS Halo Tashi recently tweeted this out. Tashi tweeted out once again saying, we are going to be opening up applications to expand the team partnership program for HCS from February to April. We'll be sharing details on how to apply and what is required publicly so that it's open and transparent process. And which teams would you like to see join the program? After reading the replies, I say the majority of the comments were asking for 100 thieves to have a team, which they actually did talk about on a live stream. Damn. I'm fucking salty. <laughs> uh, All right. Now I, just, I think now I just want a damn 100 Thieves skin in this. Thing. Well, we could do it. You know, I encouraged you. You did encourage. <laughs> well, even if we wanted to get into Halo right now, I don't I don't know what if we would even have could find a team that can compete. I, I, I could have found a team for you. I know you could have. OK, I'm just saying in the past, yeah. Halo had a really hard time finding its way and getting people to watch every comment. It's like a 200 upvotes. We need a Halo team, <laughs> bro. 
literally our community like our core our most rabid fan base they say we need everything and anything and then we go and get it and then they don't fucking care like a month later everybody wants us to be a part yeah. of everything but they don't realize how expensive and logistically difficult things are to do let's think of free agents in halo and if you guys can build a compelling halo roster which i just don't think there's many people available anymore Maybe I'll get us a Halo team. He was probably in talks with Tashi about getting a team at launch, but just wasn't quite sure if the viewership or the interest was there. And well, after this weekend, it certainly is. You can even see that the interest of Halo Infinite is the highest it's ever been in competitive Halo, outdoing the old glory days of the early 2000s with classic Halo, which was technically the peak of popularity. So what am I getting at with all this? What I'm saying is, Halo was back, baby. It was one of my biggest concerns with Halo Infinite releasing in 2021 that we had a Battlefield game releasing, we had another Call of Duty game releasing and on top of that, and well, Call of Duty kind of dropped the ball with it being kind of a limp in kind of game, Battlefield dropping the ball because the launch was just a big mess. Halo Infinite's launch was great. It plays well, it functions well, the gameplay itself is fantastic. Like, yeah, there are improvements that need to be done, which we'll talk about in a future video, but the thing that matters the most, the gameplay, is fantastic campaign and multiplayer so what's coming up next well we have the anaheim event happening now i would call it dreamhack anaheim but dreamhack is canceled right now for anaheim 2022 it's saying that the hcs na regional championship will take place as its standalone event this will be happening on february 11th through the 13th now i personally tweeted this at tashi saying like hey dreamhack is canceled are we still able to attend the event and with a resounding yes, we will still be able to go to the event itself. To set expectations properly, Tashi did go onto Twitter saying that the Anaheim event is a regional event, aka a minor, in comparison to the Raleigh event that we had last weekend. Fewer teams overall, NA only, bit smaller audience capacity, not all the same bells and whistles, of course. But cool thing here, still expecting an insane tournament, however, and more Twitch drops, guys, which I actually had a chance to jump in and grab some, and the customization is super fun. All this accumulates into the grand final that's happening in October in Seattle, which I will 100% be there at that match. But yeah, I just really wanna say, Halo is back, baby. Like, we're, we're back. Halo's awesome. People are loving it. It's the best shooter out there right now. This is literally like the best situation we've ever seen Halo be in for a very long time. So the future is looking bright, guys. A brand new era of Halo happening. If 3v3 pulls off the right moves, I think that could just happen. So if you're new to the channel, miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.